So I saw a YouTube video by a creator called Paul the Punter, some of you might know who he is, and uh, he made a video called This Is Who E-Bikes Are For, and I watched the whole video and I thought it was a really nice and insightful video into the world of e-biking, and he made some real good points about why e-biking is actually awesome and shouldn't be as frowned upon as it is in the mountain biking world. Thanks to him, I've been inspired to make a similar video, a bit in my own sort of style, just going over some reasons why I personally feel that e-bikes are dope yeah Paul if you're watching this thanks for making that video gave me a good idea full credit goes to you for this video that I'm making now so just so you know I'm not copying you you just inspired me yeah nice one let's get into the vid I start off with reason number one I can ride enduro trails way way quicker than I used to be able to on a normal bike <laughs> To mention, when I get boiling, I can just take my coat off like it's absolutely nothing. See you later. Another sick thing about e-biking is that once you've done your 50 extra laps is that you can literally crack monies so, so endlessly. What more can you want from a really, really caffeine fueled session? I'm cracking. Mmm. The caffeine, man. <laughs> so good. So there you go then, there's reason number one why e-bikes are really, really awesome. You can literally shred enduro trails or downhill trails, even uphill trails, a lot quicker than everyone else can. It's really nice, especially on trails where it does go down and then up or flat and down and up or flat. Simply because you don't really have to worry about losing momentum, because if you do, you literally put in two crank strokes in the top gear and you're going straight as fast as you were down the hill anyway to start with and I know some people won't agree but for me the fun comes with how quick I can get down the whole trail for other people it's like tackling the techie sections which might be the uphill climbs but personally I don't find that fun so for me being able to get up that hill as quick as I can and then carry on with the downhill is why I really like e-bikes that's just one of the good reasons I can do everything really really quick gonna move on to reason number two now which is hill climbing again this is another controversial topic because we all know that a lot of normal mountain bikers say that climbing up the hill on your bike is part of the fun but again for me climbing up the hills on my bike isn't fun simply because it's just a lot of effort for then coming back down a hill for like 30 seconds it just doesn't feel like cool to me you know you don't really get as many laps going down the actual fun part and the fun part is the downhills so when you're limited to the amount of runs you can do because you're running out of energy or you just simply can't get to the top then that's when it becomes annoying then there's the fitness side of the argument a lot of people like to say that because I'm on an e-bike I'm not going to be getting fitter and I'm not going to be exercising as much but this is where I feel like people that use that as an argument aren't really thinking properly because let's say on a normal enduro bike I can only do one lap down one lap up I know that would never happen but just for the sake of example and then on an e-bike I'm not going to go down once and come back up once am I because I didn't use as much energy therefore I can go for like a lap or two again and then I've used the same amount of energy as you have on one lap except I've done three so I've actually had more fun and used equal amounts of energy as you have so that's where I don't really get it because when you have an e-bike you don't just stop 
because you've done one run and that's how many runs you normally do on a normal bike you go until you're tired the e-bikes are really really good for doing certain sections over and over again and you'd never really be able to do that on, on a normal bike so really good for filming edits and then by the end of the day you've literally shredded so much that you've not only improved in riding but you are completely dead and out of energy because you've just been riding so much more than you normally would also an annoying comment that people say is that um, being on an e-bike is cheating but I mean unless you're doing a race for non e-bikes on an e-bike then how am I cheating there's nothing to be cheating at is there <laughs> Weight is another fun topic to talk about and I will admit that e-bikes are fuck heavy. Everyone that hasn't ridden an e-bike always mentions that the weight must uh, like affect my riding and it does affect my riding but in a really really good way because the way I look at it is that the power you're getting from the e-bike actually cancels out the weight of the bike if that makes sense when I've got the assist there to help me push through the weight and that's where it doesn't really matter it sort of cancels it out and equals a normal bike in the end anyway but you've got the extra addition of more weight on the wheels which provides you with more grip and more stability in the air so it's actually really really good for tackling like downhill stuff or jumps that you've never done before so weight for me again is another bonus and I can see where people would get that wrong but really when once you've ridden an e-bike you'll understand what I mean and it seems like a lot of people that make the negative arguments about e-bikes haven't actually ever ridden one. I'm pretty sure if you go and ride an e-bike now you will now agree that e-bikes are awesome unless that you enjoy pedaling uphill on a normal bike but other than that for the fun factor which is really what mountain biking is about I just can't find a reason why you wouldn't ride an e-bike you know they're just so good speed is another cool one to mention because all e-bikes in the uk are legally limited at 16 miles an hour to those people that say it's basically a motorbike and that i can go flat out down trails and destroy it i actually can't go any quicker at my maximum than you can on a normal bike so the speed is quite a slow top out of the speed 60 miles an hour isn't fast and it's nothing like a motorbike so that argument flawed for me as well just took my coat off yep yeah. e-bikes actually have modes on them normally come with four or five different modes and they all give you a certain percentage of assistance with your pedaling i believe on the high bikes it goes from 50 percent extra up to 300 percent the way i see it is that the lowest mode on the e-bike that you can get because of the weight of the bike basically equals a normal bike biking up the hill if that makes sense so on the bike that i'm riding behind me here the lowest mode is eco plus and because that weighs nearly double a normal enduro bike to me that's the same amount of effort i'm going to be using if i'm biking up the same hill on a normal bike if that's the issue that you have with e-bikes you just change the mode if you want it to be hard work you can make it hard work and if you want it to be easy work you can do that as well like i mentioned before if you're making it easy for yourself you're going to be doing 10 times the laps anyway so in the end you are using the same amount of energy to top it all off we finally got the arguments about the sort of people that can't really get out on a regular bike and go for a ride and have fun maybe someone that wants to lose weight but struggles to actually get on a normal bike because if they really don't exercise for a long time it can take a while to get into the routine of exercising so an e-bike would be a good way to build themselves into riding the bike more and then slowly over time they can put the mode further down then we've got people with like heart problems or maybe joint problems that don't really allow them to move their body that well with the e-bike they can put it in the top mode and then they're getting the easiest ride for the least amount of energy and use of their body possible so they can still go mild go for nice long bike rides and not have to worry about anything being damaged on their bodies so that is it they are all my reasons why I think e-bikes are really awesome um, you can disagree with me if you want but you're not going to change my opinion I'm really set on e-bikes and I'm really stoked to see sort of where they go in the future and all that stuff and just yeah shredding on e-bikes just the best fun I've ever had ever it's made my riding improve so much anyone that's watched this channel will know that before i hopped on an e-bike I, I couldn't really do much let's be honest uh, e-bikes come in under a year i've improved my riding massively 
thanks to the e-bikes which I think is so awesome helps riders like me that weren't so good become a little bit better which is awesome and then you know we're getting there in the end which is cool um, so finally thank you to Paul the punter for making the video about e-bikes because this is what inspired me to make this video which is super awesome um, your vid was awesome if you're watching this I really like that uh, feel free to drop a comment anything and uh, yeah nice one thanks for watching everyone see you in the next one I just wanna have some fun